Guys, I had a crazy idea that, I don't know, just, it, it's kind of silly. I was thinking about this crazy new world that we live in where you can do more and more crazy stuff with these, our phones. And Apple just announced a new iPhone and you can just do so much on it. It's ridiculous. And here I am using a soldering iron to repair a microphone that's 45 years old so I can use it to do my whatever I like to do when I record. And I th just I thought like, how funny would it be to AB this SM7 with my iPhone and see, see what it like. I mean, we can all laugh about it, but what if it's sweet? Like maybe it'll be dope. Who knows? I'm gonna make mic up some guitars and do an AB. I'm gonna do an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar, and I'm gonna put my iPhone on my amp. Yeah, let's see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to play a part of this song that I wrote a long time ago on acoustic, the rhythm part, basically the main part of it. And I'm going to record it with my SM7 and the iPhone X at the same time. It's not gonna be exactly scientific, you know, that's probably an inch or so difference in the placement of where it's actually pointing, but close enough. We'll check out, we'll AB hear the difference. And I'm also gonna record my Vox AC15 amp with the old Green Day guitar. And uh, I'm gonna do the lead riff, the lead part of the song. And it's gonna be more fuzzy distortion kind of tone. And I'll use my SM7 on the amp and I'm gonna use the iPhone on the amp. Cause like, <laughs> I mean, it just, it, it's like one of those things that just sounds so stupid, but what if it's awesome? Mm -hmm. A lot of the cool mic placement tricks that I've seen that are my favorite sounds just look so dumb just from looking at it. So it made me think, you know, maybe it won't be that dumb. Maybe it'll actually sound like, maybe it'll actually sound dope. Who knows? You don't know. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. But before we do it, obviously obligatory, like, subscribe. Let me know down below, do you think this is a waste of time? Are you curious? What do you think is gonna be the better sounding mic? And at the end, let me know the results. Is it actually the SM7 that wins or is it the iPhone that wins? All right, let's get, let's get right to it. Thank you. 
Okay, first impressions, the iPhone sounds so much better on the electric guitar amp than I thought was possible. I actually recorded the amp at a lower volume than I normally would, just so that the input level from the SM7 and the iPhone would match. And uh, wow, that sounds so much better than I thought a phone could. You know, it's interesting because the SM7 has a much cleaner and more controlled sound, which is nice. Maybe not useful for every single thing that you're trying to do, but definitely a safe bet. And the iPhone has this pretty cool character about it that also wouldn't be great for everything, but is ridiculously, surprisingly great. Holy cow, man. Overall, I'm super impressed with the iPhone. Now, I would say if I had the option of using the SM7, I would definitely go with the SM7. And, but if I didn't have the SM7, I would for sure use the iPhone. I mean, let's be real. The SM7 is what, $350, $400. The iPhone uh, technically is upwards of $1,000, depending on which version that you get. However, it is a phone. It is a computer. It is an internet search thing. It is it has a microphone on it. It has uh, recording software built in, the preamps inside it. You have the ability to actually edit and store your recordings in it and overdub and use GarageBand and all this crazy stuff. I would totally use the iPhone if it was my only option. For sure, it records 2448, so that's great. What's funny about the SM7 is that it is the cheaper option, but it is just a microphone. You don't get the whole package like you do with the iPhone. So that that's kind of interesting. But I am totally surprised with this iPhone thing. I totally want to try something where I'm like tracking drums and we can put the iPhone out there and try and get like some special uh, effect sound or some, some sort of trashy over compressed thing. I would have to imagine that the input level on the phone is just gonna be squashed doing drums. But that might be, might sound cool. I mean, I did not expect it to sound that good on the guitar amp. Overall, I think the, maybe on the acoustics, uh, you know, is a little is a little more tinny, less low end in body. I, I will say that acoustic I was using is a little unconventional. The sound hole is at the top of the guitar, it's not in the front. So it is not a typical acoustic sound. So I did like the SM7 on it. And this wasn't a scientific, you know, comparison. They wasn't literally the exact same thing. They're just basically right next to each other, both pointed at the same spot. And everything that you heard was completely untouched. There's no processing happening. It's just the raw recordings panned left and right. So I don't know. What do you think? What's what do you what do you think sounded better? Was the SM7 better on both, or the iPhone, or maybe? You know, I kind of thought the iPhone sounded cool on the electric guitar amp and the SM7 for sure sounded good on the acoustic, but you know, there was, there was some interesting character with the iPhone. So who knows? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. So the next time I put up another video like this, you get notified and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.